you know often on this channel uh, i find myself uh praising anime and manga in fact oftentimes i consider anime and manga as the final defense against wokeism and the woke virus when it comes to entertainment especially since i honestly can i think that in america american entertainment for the most part has fallen to wokeism in some shape or form being uh forced inclusion and other woke crap that i don't need to explain to you guys so this came out uh, not long ago tokyo gender equality proposal draws concerns from love hino author over international perspective now if you're an og anime fan like i am you would remember love hina very old school anime um i'm talking about early 2000s maybe before that not the manga i'm talking about the anime <laughs> i actually own the anime that the box set i haven't watched it in a while i actually might go back and watch it again but honestly i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna say i know much about the uh the, the thing they're trying to put into law but if someone with years of experience in anime and manga and i'm talking about the author of lavina has a problem with it i think it's something we should all kind of pay attention to because this could possibly get worse and this could possibly e equate to censorship when it comes to anime and manga which is a very big thing uh, <laughs> because I, I honestly do think that anime and manga is like the last step. Well, Korean drama as well. Their this stuff's actually really good. Uh, but anime and manga definitely. Uh, before I go any further, y'all know the vibes. Hit the subscribe button for more pop culture news, rants, vi um, oh, and updates. Sorry. And today we're talking about and ranting about uh, possible censorship in anime manga. So this is a tweet. From the author of Love Hina. Clearly, we can't read it, but it says a draft version, sorry, a draft revision of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government's comprehensive plan for the promotion of gender equality. Now, that does sound great. We all want gender equality, but obviously, if he's complaining about it, there's something more to it than just gender equality, right? So, it mentions the freedom not to be exposed to offensive expressions in mass media and public spaces which scares me as a creator this means i can't draw anything in tokyo this is a gross disregard for freedom of expression the international perspective of, on sexual and violent expression is also too vague and this will lead to decline of japanese culture now this could be a potential problem for us in the future or it may not be anything crazy. Maybe he could be overreacting. But I honestly don't think that with his years of experience and obviously being <laughs> from Japan himself, I, I don't think he is blowing this out of proportion. I think there is, uh, this, this should be taken, uh, it should be uh, paid attention to for the most part. That's just what I think about it. Um, we do tend to call out a lot of woke stuff on this channel. Uh, that's what I'm actually known for. That's why uh, <laughs> uh, in, the, in the comment section, I do get a lot of backlash. That's why I usually tend to praise, most times praise anime and manga because they don't care about what anyone says about their content. Whether it's uh, the Dragon Maid one, uh, uh, Goblin Slayer, you know, and the list goes on. These, uh, they don't care about how you feel. Or even Fire Force. Remember Fire Force for a while? People were losing their shit about Fire Force because uh, of the uh, sexual representation of the female character. Which was a, uh, for what I observed, usually was a complaint from people on our side, Americans. Who were like, oh my god, it's too sexual and blah blah blah. Like, and they were like, no, we don't care about how you feel. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. And if you don't like it, piss off. So, it honestly, it was great seeing him respond the way he did. Um, and other anime did the exact same thing. I can't remember off the top of my head. But you guys get what I'm trying to say. Um, hopefully, this new law doesn't impact anime and manga too much. But what are your thoughts on this? you guys think that um, 
the author of Love Hina, Blowing Out of Proportion. I think, I don't think he is. I think this is something that needs some attention. Anyway, that's all I got for this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel to a thousand subscribers. Uh, <laughs> I think YouTube is doing a thing and, and uh, shadow banning my account. If they can do that on YouTube, they do it on TikTok a lot. By the way, also follow me on TikTok. Same handle, Dante's Rant Room. Look me up. You can find me there. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more pop culture news, rants, and updates. I hope you guys enjoy my content. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great time, day or night, wherever you are in the world. Peace.